Sword fight? Okay. okay. Are those leaking something? Uh, probably. Okay. So here we have an ordinary bookcase, just a regular... Oh, whoa. whoa! Or is it a secret entrance to the hotel's old speakeasy? It is! From 1920 to 1933, this was a well-hidden haven for drinking gin and doing sins. After Prohibition, it became a very inconvenient storage room, but now it's a bar again. Go ahead, look around. Ho oh, ho, we have way too few secret rooms at our restaurant. You've mentioned that. Look out, the cops are coming. Harold, hold my stash. If law enforcement showed up, the doorman would warn the naughty patrons inside here through this simple hose with a little bell thingy at the end of it that looks like a flower. Oh. And then the bartender could talk back through it. Thanks for the warning, buddy. And everyone could escape through a secret tunnel behind the bar that led to the pier. That same tunnel was also used by the bootleggers to sneak booze and other smuggled items into the hotel. It was just a really great tunnel. Is the tunnel still here? Uh, sadly, no. No, the whole thing was filled in by the city in 1953. No sense of fun, those city people. But everything else here is still intact, so you can have a look around, and then I'll take you to room 111, where the notorious smuggler Slippery Sam always stayed, and where he was eventually betrayed. You can react, you can gasp, or ooh, or something. Oh, you know. oh. Uh -huh. well, thank you, that's great. They're having to sit down in your restaurant? That's a big deal. I don't think anyone's ever seen them all in one place. Like the Beatles. When I get the biggest crowd. Ha, maybe 15 years ago. Bubbles are over. Can you make a bald eagle out of a bubble? I don't think so. Bubbles will never be over. Bubbles are forever. Bubbles, balloons, you both blow. Get it? I found these pipes in a dumpster by a grocery store. Look, this isn't getting us anywhere. There is only one thing left to do. Let the street decide. Uh, wh what does that mean? We perform, and the winner is chosen by the audience. Wow, uh, when are you going to do that? And, and where? Right here, right now. <gasps> Wait, what? They mean us. We would decide. Oh, I think I'm going to throw up. Well, that's the least fun street performance. So this is the room 111 where Slippery Sam would always stay. But they could have called him suspicious of everyone, Sam, because he made modifications to the room, unbeknownst to management, in order to hide his stolen goods from his fellow thieves and ne'er-do-wells. Just an ordinary bedpost, right? <laughs> and did you notice the antique outlets? Aha! Oh! But the hiding spot for his most famous hidden loot has never been found. Why not? I was getting to that. Oh. In 1932, Sam checked into the hotel hoping to find a fence for the Jade Jellyfish, a dazzling piece of home decor that was estimated to be worth around $40,000 at that time, which today would be the equivalent of over $700,000. Holy crap! The Jade Jellyfish was stolen from its original owner, a New York collector named Carlisle Linus, and hidden somewhere in or around the hotel while a sale was arranged. Slippery Sam had more than his share of enemies, so not only did he hide the jellyfish, he also